Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Currently in Windows 11, we get the recommended section in the start menu, as many of you will know. And as I've mentioned previously, I've turned off recommend content as I personally just don't like the clutter. Now, Microsoft has given us um, a couple of options for the start menu when it comes to the recommended. Um, we can turn off recommended content. Um, we are unable as yet to turn off the recommended section and menu completely, although that is a requested feature by a lot of users to Microsoft, which I think would be a nice move uh, in the right direction. And other um, uh, options available in Windows 11 version 22H2, as many of you may also know, is that you can resize the recommended to decrease the size, as I have in my case. You can increase the pin section, vice versa, and so on. Now, when it comes to the recommended menu and section in the Start menu, Last week, Microsoft rolled out their latest dev channel build 25295, which did include a couple of new features and also a couple of hidden features. And I'll leave links to those videos in the description. Now, when it comes to hidden features, it seems that Microsoft could be working on a name change for the recommended section in the start menu. And this hidden feature was once again spotted by Phantom Ocean 3 over on Twitter, who enabled the feature using Valve Tool. And if we just head over to a screenshot provided, yeah, we can see that recommended could be getting a name change to be simply called for you. Now, hidden features, as mentioned previously, um, are not official features, and it is code that Microsoft could be working on internally and hasn't officially enabled in the operating system. So although, you know, for some of them, this might be a handy change, I personally don't think it would make any difference to the start menu as Microsoft um, is kind of ignoring user request where um, another feature they are working on uh, in the Insider program is rolling out like common websites and um, recommended content uh, in the start menu for, uh, as an example, um, backing up your files using OneDrive, where some are calling these um, ads and others are calling it suggestions. So um, changing the name from recommended to for you to me doesn't really, if they ever did that, doesn't really seem to be anything of significance. But nonetheless, Microsoft, as mentioned, could be changing recommended to for you. And if that would make any difference in the future, I suppose, like most things with Microsoft, only time would tell. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.